Welcome back everyone, let's play World Waves 2 as Austria-Hungary, episode number 32 or 3 or something. Um, we're most of the way through this battle, which has gone pretty well for us. We had the flying boats help out, land a ton of bombs. Does that even show up in the log? Maybe it does. No, I don't think... Huh. I don't think any of the bombings show up in the log, which is uh, a bit unfortunate. Anyway, that's just, I mean, this has been an exciting battle from that perspective. We have our own air power involved. If I were them, I would have declined this battle. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, it's, it's fun. To, we're moving all together in this uh, <clears throat> ever-evolving viewpoint on Rule the Waves. It's Tortuga's ever-evolving viewpoint on Rule the Waves. Do I like it? Do I not? Well, the answer is definitely I like it. Wouldn't be playing this game so damn much if I didn't like it. Hmm. So I think we're trying to pursue these and finish off as many as we can. If I'm not mistaken, I'm just it's come back to me as we as we roll a few minutes forward here. But I think that um, we sank one of them and we've done some damage to one of these two, significant damage to one of the two. So I'm hoping to tr track that down, sink it. Uh, hey, the more we can sink, the better. We have a very slight victory point lead right now. Always good to get further and further ahead. Uh, we might actually be able to force a victory out of this, which should be quite a victory, a memorable one. I mean, I, I don't say that very often. There's a few victories in my time playing Rule the Waves and Rule the Waves 2 that I can remember. Um, I think the one I may never forget was playing as Germany and defeating the British. Um, and getting a white, I should say, getting a white piece with the British after I had, like, decimated their fleet. And was up so many. I think that was that was just a tragedy. Um, Perkato has taken a few hits here. We'll have to be a bit careful, but it does look like we are going to be in good position to sink this Hertha. She's on fire. We are continuing the pressure as well. Four inch guns. I, I mean, hey, if she's on fire, even the four inch guns are. Well, they, they're doing something. They're in my head. They're preventing people from fighting fires as effectively. So there's that. You got people on the on the surface, on the deck, running about with fire, uh, fire keeping equipment, and now you have four-inch shells blowing up everywhere. That's it's not going to help them. But those nine-inch shells are, you know, the ones that I think are slowly sealing her fate by unsealing her hull to the water. Nonetheless, you can see she's still returning fire. Mm, yeah, not surprising. But dead in the water, on fire. She's actually a very easy target. Oh my god, you got to be kidding me. <sighs> All right, well, let me just do it this way. Detach on Helm's Clam. We are quite a ways away from port, but we will nonetheless make a run for it. Her day is done. We don't need her to do anything else. Just slow on down. Let me see how the flooding is. 41. So we, the, these, I think, have torpedo protection too, and it's, it's you know, it just shows so well. I mean, how well they control their flooding. And this is why I want torpedo protection 3, even. Or, I mean, God, God help us at this point. It has to get torpedo protection 4 for anything else. Um, while we're steaming away, Proto has taken a few hits here. 21 medium hits, all told. It's quite a few. No torpedoes on these. I just have her finish off the the Hertha. I think she stopped firing. She might be, yeah, she is in fact officially dead now. So I'll have you stop firing. Get you up to cruise speed, which is huh, 15 now. Um, your flooding is down to one, yeah. So I think at this point it's better for us to go fast and try to get back to port as quick as possible. That way we know for sure that we won't sink. And let's see how the uh, Burkato can handle the last little gun duel here. At least we know that she's not going to be hit by torpedoes. So there's that. And we have the wind advantage, which is, does, just doesn't mean that much um, this late in the, in the game. So we're exchanging fire still. I think that ultimately our... Superior accuracy, our better 
crew quality, which is only at zero, okay, and that's not as good. Uh, five, so five and a half, two and a half, six inch for the deck. Let's see what we're up against again. Six 10 inch guns. Yeah, so I think that we ultimately just have more weapons or more ammunition going down range. Um, they have lighter belt, they have a lighter deck, significantly lighter deck. Even splinters can do damage to that one, although not very common. So yeah, I think we earn an advantage. We we have an advantage. Whether or not their damage is enough to like make it harder for them or easier for them to take um, to to be hit or to to hit us, I don't know. They seem to be turning away. I mean, I can always just give up whenever I want. I can give up, but hey, you know what would be awesome is if we got. Yeah, you know what? Now nah, I think it's time for us to give up here. I'm gonna run back towards this uh, V3, because if I can land a few hits on that, that would also be cool. No. Oh yeah, we actually did. <laughs> we got one hit. All right, so let's make our way up at 20, just slow on down, and uh, proceed at max speed, I guess. Okay, good, so medium damage for the one that got hit by a torpedo, I assume, and light damage for our other one. Sank two, actually one, the last one got away, that's fine. Sank a destroyer, two light cruisers which escaped. All in all, a good battle, quite a good battle. Seven, looks like seven to one, eight, no, oh, just about eight to one on the victory point uh, difference here. Okay, so two of our heavy cruisers managed to sink two of the enemy heavy cruisers and fight off a third one with the help of flying boats. It's an interesting timeline. I mean, that you have to say that when the game puts us into the Baltic. I don't really know how to explain I mean, that's it's frustrating for a lot of reasons, but part of it is just so immersion breaking. Can't really imagine that happening. Uh, that's not a super big deal, because we can, I mean, you can dance around anything. But it is way more interesting when you get these compelling battles, like, hey, we could pretend that we are fighting off. They're um, trying to cut off Northern Europe from from trade and, or maybe we're trying to put position some raiders and putting them in around Iceland is a good idea and they're trying to shut us off from that. Who knows? Okay, this is their fighter, 150. Doesn't seem that fast. So we know that although we're not sinking merchants that many, we know that it's having an effect. We see that it is having an effect, so we'll, we'll keep pushing away at that one. Big monthly balance jump. I don't know why that happened. Did, did that happen? Huh. Well, this Nike class, by the way, is, has just been doing fantastic. Um, those were, of course, the two Nikes contributing uh, to the victory there. I mean, they were the victory there. We have one more being built. Good to see. I really like them. We had the dual purpose five inch guns. I guess that's one of the upgrades I could see us doing, knocking down the number of four inch guns um, to get slightly less, but five inch guns. And man, I just, I, it's just, it would be such a shame not to have any big battleships moving forward. Although, you know, maybe it's okay because we had such elite battleships. It was, it was too easy, right? <laughs> uh, not in the presence of aircraft, but yeah, I, it's. I mean, look at if it hadn't been such a sore thing that it happened to me, it's cool to see that the balance of wow, it's actually it feels way too early. I don't. It just feels way too early for 1930. This is with 80% tech progression, so we have to think of this as more like 1924. Could torpedo bombers have done destroyed two battleships that had AA armaments? Back in 1924, not, I mean 1925 probably. That's 20% slower, which means, yeah, I, th I think it's four fifths, or is it three fourths? Uh, I don't know. I, I can't think. Never supposed to do math on camera. So we'll just say 1925. Yeah, I don't know. It seems pretty early for air power to be so dominant. But if there was a war in 1924, 
maybe we would have seen. I mean, obviously by 1940, although people were still, even at 1940, thinking that the superior battleships is what would get the job done. And we know, obviously, carriers were the way of the future. They were the way of the present in 1940. But 15 years earlier, would they have been? I don't know. Okay, um, grappling. Turn off the ramble button. Yeah, we're gonna have to just continue to defend the Mediterranean, but somebody asked me a very interesting question, and the answer is very clearly in the affirmative. Are any of the German bases within invasion range? Answer, yes. Okay, fantastic. So we actually have a chance to do an invasion here, which means uh, we need as many ships available and active fleet as possible in the Mediterranean. We are only going to keep those two, those two lonely heavy cruisers of the Nike class up in Northern Europe with a, a small destroyer escort. So let's see what happens. So, my God, you just can't, you're just rubbing salt in a wound. It's amazing that as many forces that I've, as I have everywhere, the only battles that's drawing for me are in Northern Europe. Let's decline this. Okay, this is something I. This is better. Von Habsburg. Is it a Nike class? Looks to be. This is much better. Alright, we'll fight him. No, I think we're gonna run into him, so don't even launch float planes. There it is. Um, I metagamed there a little bit, but that's okay. I forgive myself. Okay, here we go. Wow, this was off to a fantastic start. I don't even know what we're dealing with here. Ran that a little too quickly. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the only thing we really have to worry about is two submerged torpedoes. It's gone on a normal speed, but this is, I think this is going to end up being a pretty clear victory for us. Oh my gosh, five nine-inch shells have hit. Another four. My goodness. You would say without question that we are... Uh, in the in the lead in this fight. Certainly have an advantage, although they do have pretty thick armor, so only 25 knots as well, so we know that um, they're not going to be able to get away from us. We'll just pursue. And just land our hits. She's on fire, so that's... Not going to help her at all. Not very much, at least. I guess we actually pursue nose on. I'm not going to try to get my broadside going. Um, we can push her. When she's on fire and she's not going to slow down, then you know, it's going to be harder for her fire to be contained. Uh, ultimately, I think what she'll have to do is turn off away from this course, and that's when we will... Uh, yeah, there it is. We'll just continue going straight to open up the broadside. Just like that. It's exactly the way I envisioned it, and it's exactly the way it's going to happen. So, I don't think we're going to need to make another turn. I think she's uh, down for the count. And that's one less, the, I mean, the big news here is it's one less armored cruiser, well, heavy cruiser. Yeah, this one might pass as an armored cruiser. 1907? Yeah, it is an armored cruiser. So, yeah, it's one less... Well, first of all, it's one less ship raiding our merchants, and it's one less point group, or group, you know, ship costing points, or adding points, tonnage points, to the presence in the Mediterranean, which can deter a uh, an invasion. So hopefully we have a better chance of getting an invasion. Okay, now I'm at this point saying, let's let's go for it. This is so bizarre. How are we saying go for it again in a war against Germany, the United States, and Russia? I mean, like, I, I, if it was... Okay, we got K-guns. That's great. No. We got a better medium bomber. Not that I think we have medium bombers anywhere. Oh, that range increase is, is quite significant, yes. Uh, they've developed a float plane scout as a private venture. We are interested in seeing it. It is better, 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 not better, better, well, even 
better. Oh, reliability is, whoops. Sorry, worse, 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 worse. Better, equal, worse. The only thing we don't know about it is what its reliability is. And I sadly, <coughs> excuse me one sec. I think the reliability might actually be the most important uh, stat for a flow plane scout. It's up there with, you know, speed and range. <sighs> yeah. I don't know, it's worse in every way, but it's not worse by much. So it's possible that the reliability will be better, but I'm not gonna accept it. <gasps> Our troops have invaded roads. Okay, well that is, that's good news. Wow. So now we're potentially gonna get, um, you know, battles in support of the invasion. And if I'm not mistaken, Limassol has an air group. Yeah, a 40. So let's go to Reykjavik. You keep saying, I think that you only have, wait, who keeps saying that they have not enough? Oh yeah, These, like all of them don't have enough. Okay. Well, Pola, you can, let's actually get some medium bombers here. Um, or dive bombers. Gonna go with medium bombers, even though they're a bit expensive. The long range is quite nice. I think we're gonna do that for everyone. In celebration of the recent upgrade for the medium bomber. Can we change the type? <laughs> change the type. Don't go for the mag, well, the other one's still in development, but we'll get over to the mag 59B as soon as that one is completed. Uh, yeah, I think Reykjavik, you can also add this one. I almost feel like adding dive bomb or torpedo bombers, but it's fine. Valletta, that's Malta, I think. So that one's very important. We'll add medium bombers there. It's going to get a bit expensive, but that's okay. And then Limassol. Well, we didn't upgrade the Limassol one, so forget that. We upgraded Gibraltar. I might leave that one only at 40, though. Cagliari, Pataro. Which one do we want? Probably... Okay, Cagliari, yes. Kataro, 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 Kataro. Drawing a blank, drawing a blank. Here, okay. Kataro is actually in some ways more important than Spilato, which I think I upgraded. So you, yes, definitely add your medium bombers. And then we now we have to make sure we have a good medium bomber because we're actually adding them in. Oh yeah, so in Cagliari we, we, do, we are using torpedo bombers. I need to go over and look at my aircraft before I forget. Kataro, okay, we'll add the medium bombers here too. Okay, let's go over to these aircraft. See, what, what are we fielding right now? It's for, let's refresh my memory. A new dive bomber's underway, so forget about this one. It's gonna be so much better. I'm, I'm guessing this will be like so much better, the new one. It won't be the Italian, we have to use the stupid Italian stuff. Our flying boat, which has performed fantastically, um, quite old, 1927, four years old now. Um, our medium bomber, which has just been improved, I guess. Let's see. And now there's really no reason not to use the Mag 64B. It is in every way superior. It is also, unfortunately, still poor reliability, but we'll obsolete the old one. Now I know why I wasn't using medium bombers. We actually have good reliability on this Mag 59, which is, that's pretty cool. I really like it. Okay, so the Berg, Floatplane Scout. That's the new one I think we picked. No, we didn't, ah, we, it's poor. Okay, th that's right. I had two options, I picked the worst one. Who knows, for all we know, both of them were poor reliability. We'll probably get, okay, I think Medium Bomber comes first. Because it would be nice to get a Medium Bomber which isn't poor reliability. And then after that, we'll pick up another float plane scout. Fighters, it looks like they are gonna become important pretty soon, but for the time being, I'm still not gonna to be too interested in, in developing those. Uh, there's a break point, I think it's around 1935 or so. For us, that might be coming, I think it's around 1935 still, but maybe a little bit later. Um, sorry, I think it's around 19, early 1930s when you have 100% tech, where fighters start actually getting more firepower. 
it's like the time when they moved away from just you know two machine guns or four machine guns to actually having like cannons and such so that, that's a big step and then that's when fighter development becomes pretty important to to, to keep track of all right six thousand a month i mean it's calling my name we got to build something Although with 517,000 funds, which is insane for Austria-Hungary. I mean, come on, let's look at this. Yeah, we're second, or why, well, we're third. We're second only to Great Britain and the United States, which are just behemoths. We're not planning to be able to catch them. Of the two, we actually have a better chance of catching Great Britain than the United States, who just continues to build um, as the game goes on. And we haven't taken any colonies away from them. Obviously, we've managed to just, you know, take a few things away from the British. Okay, moving on. Cruiser action in this godforsaken area. We're just going to do the usual declines. So the one, the heavy cruiser battle we won by um, Iceland, it did buy us the ability to decline these even more. So I will be doing that. Enemy coastal raid here. Now we can accept. And they decline wisely. Cruiser action will accept. I guess we'll just attack enemy ships in general. I don't don't think that. Okay, we have von Habsburg here. Admiral Spawn. This is interesting. I don't know what's going to happen here. I will launch. I will launch flow planes in this case because we have other ships. Why are you guys going this way and you're going that way? Well, hey, our decision to add medium bombers to Valletta, not a bad one, all things considered. So we're going to move back towards um, Valletta as quickly as possible. We can bide our time with the invasion going on. So we're not too worried about just, I, I just want to get us back into range of uh, the air cover. Although let's kick it up to 20. And I need to know what your speed is. Are you a slow one? 25, yeah, you're slow, slow, slow. So let's just get you to move back to Valletta at whatever your squad max is. Don't plan to keep you around too long, but it would be kind of nice <laughs> to maybe use you for a little bit. Let's get up to 24. Yeah, we have good speed on these Nikes. It's just so nice. These are one of the best heavy cruisers I've ever made. So let's push them towards the light cruiser. And all the while pushing, of course, towards... Um, towards Malta. I don't know what we're up against yet, but... We can leave range. Are they going to be content? Ah. Are they going to be content to just to let me go? I guess I can play cat and mouse with my destroyers. Oh, look at that. What do you know? Recon planes are flying right over them. That's a good sign. These are two destroyers. I still don't mind. I don't mind engaging some destroyers. Where did the other ones go, though? That's what I want to know. Let's turn back. Where's the rest of your gang? Gonna get the light cruisers to engage. The light cruiser to engage the destroyers. There they are. I mean, we're still pulling them pretty close. Like, how far away is this? This is 80 nautical miles. We're only 80 nautical miles away from Malta. That's pretty good. That's nice and close, especially considering the range of our... I mean, the range of our aircraft is... <laughs> in the in the hundreds. I think it's... For even a heavy load, I think it's 150 at least, so... We're in good shape there. I think we will go up and engage, though. Just gotta keep them busy. Um, slow you down. We don't need squad max now, so we're just gonna basically play the game where we know 
expect at least that air, aircraft are coming. I would like to get into the fight a little bit. If this is just a light cruiser, I could actually fight that. Where are you guys going? All right, let's commit to a battle now. Danced around it enough. We bought ourselves some time. Let's 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 get into a battle. If all they have is Thetis, first of all, I want to know what is your speed. Twenty nine. Not impossible to catch. So let's catch them. This is the advantage of the Nike. She is so fast. All right, here we go. We'll make our run. Light Cruiser can just... I think I'm just going to slow her down to cruise speed and let her do her own thing. Well, maybe 18. Just let her do her own thing. She can hang back, do whatever she wants. Nike, as soon as she picks up a head of steam, is going to try to go after this thing. And we know we have aircraft on our side, so we can... We can play that kind of game anyway. Naval Strike takes off at 3.41 p.m. Here we go. Let's reel them in. I think we are reeling them in. Okay, destroyer um, signal misunderstood, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a big deal. We actually started to hit one of the destroyers with our four-inch guns. Oh, you went two minutes, cheeky, cheeky little game you. What are these? Are these the recon people coming back? It is. So I like the the approach approaching from their stern. I mean, just coming in during, from their wake. But that is actually landed to hit there too, um, because then we we don't have any chance of getting hit by torpedoes. Oh, these are my <laughs> float planes. Oh, why did I ever launch them? Bah humbug. If we don't recover them, they will die. But if we recover them, the Thetis will get away. See my my dilemma here. All right, destroyers are just going to go off and battle themselves. We'll pull further away to prevent any torpedoes. This is a very aggressive. I can't. I got to make those turns lighter. Oh, don't launch torpedoes, by the way. I mean, I guess you could. It doesn't matter that much, but okay. Yeah, that is did. Put, you know, get some distance, but that's exactly what their destroyers are there for. Looks like we actually clocked them out. Your only job, destroyers, is to keep them from doing that to me again. Like, once is uh, once is enough. So you guys just basically push them off. And keep them from doing that again. And I think we are doing that, by the way. What the heck happened there? I don't know. Can I launch any torpedoes at the... V5 here. I wouldn't mind. Yeah, I can. In fact, starboard side torpedoes, of all things. I, I want more. Give me more torpedoes. That's really the best thing we can do is launch it. And so, you know what? Just, you know, launch torpedoes as, at will. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's definitely dead. It's definitely dead. No need to worry, it's definitely dead. Okay, so now we continue on our merry way. Um, you guys can go to AI control, I think. Don't even have to worry about you. Um, let's just pursue the Thetis. I know that these float planes want to land, but we have work to do. Hopefully you have a... Whoop, they disappeared. Well, that's that. <laughs> Never mind what happened. I'm sure they're fine. They are float planes, so they can just land on the water and you know, kind of like ditch. Um, Admiral Spawn to pick up survivors? Yeah, Admiral Spawn's still coming, absolutely. Absolutely pick up those survivors. As we slowly reel the Thetis in. I don't know what our um, aircraft are doing, but they won't be necessary today. There's the big turn I was waiting for. 
And there's, oh, four inch guns. Let's get the nine inch guns going. There we go. Well, that was only one. I'm still waiting for the, but even those four inch guns are gonna do a little bit of work against the light cruiser. All right, things are looking good now. Just wanna give her no angle for launching torpedoes. And I think we've done exactly that so far. Slow down to 20 here. What's our speed limited to? Nothing, okay, good. So we have maximum speed available. Slow down to uh, 25 maybe, because it looks like she's slowing up quite a bit. Oh yeah, One, the nine inch guns are landing now. And I don't think that she is even gonna need a second pass. There it is, okay, so let's just peel off and go home. Mission is accomplished, sank a few things. Nothing else matters. You don't need to really worry about getting whatever destroyers she was with. And who knows, for all we know, there, there was more ships out there, but they won't be of interest to me. Spotted somebody, you say. Let's get back to AI control. Oh yeah, down here. I assume that those are the two destroyers coming back and they're gonna see woe is us, that they're a little bit late to help out. Um, you're still going 25, that's a good thing. I was gonna say, I thought I slowed you down, but you know what, good thing I didn't. Now it's time to get out of here. Just pump a few more rounds into the Thetis, or sinking corpse. These destroyers are like, no, no, we, we, we don't mind, just do your own thing, we're, we're also going home. We'll agree to, to disengage. Good, another good battle. Uh, I, I can be happy losing battles in this game, but it's a lot easier to be happy when you win them. Assuming we didn't lose too many aircraft to crashing, that will be a victory. I kind of think the points for land-based aircraft, crashing and all that, should be reduced. Um, it's like so out of the player's control, it feels like it's not fair to penalize them too much for it. Yeah, so we suffered more losses. Didn't matter though in this case, still a good victory. And it looks like we had seen basically all their fleet there. So what you see is what you get in this case. Some of our submarines are coming back out. I am interested in seeing what the reliability of these new submarines is. 79, okay, so we're at 79. We still have some that are in the 40s. My goodness, one that's in the 43. One that's as low as 43, even 42. I think you're probably supposed to scrap those. Those might even be, oh yes, battle and support. That's exactly what we wanted. Small engagement, hmm. Oh. Oh my. What is the, oh God. Well, the Indicas, <laughs> they're back. Mozart obviously belonged to the Mozart class, but okay, 25 knots on that one. So first thing we need to do is, yeah, that is not what we want. Let's go down to like 200. I can't imagine they would be beyond, let's even do 190. I can't believe that they'll be beyond what I presume is our invasion target. We'll go to maximum cap here. Okay, so left, let me increase and then, let's go to 310. So 310. And 190, well you already got me there, that's, Kind of nice. I think we'll reduce that down to 175 though. Seven, five. Ah, what am I doing? Damn it, that's ah. fine. Go 180, 185, that's fine. Well, actually 175, so I'm. Just depends on how quickly they're going to return. Okay. So 55 is one thing I was gonna change. Let's change this to 50. I'm thinking we can even change it to like 35. So 40 would be exactly the line. Oops, so let's put 40, 
So let's put 35. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's do this. I don't think we're gonna see anything further out to the right than that. We probably won't even see anything out for this far to the left. So I probably could it I probably can cut it down even more. But I'll leave it. In fact I'll yeah, 37 even. <laughs> Just be a little weird about it. Okay. Good enough. Let's do it that that way. Do we have float plane um, search priority selected? I don't remember. If we do, then the Van Hopsburg will try to try to contribute some of her float planes to this. But if not, then they should all be. Well, there it is. Oh, I bet you this is a different scouting thing. Um, no, I hit spacebar once. I don't know why that happened. Yeah, this. No, this was the same one. Okay. Okay, good, so Furkton is along for the ride here. This will be exciting. And we have some aircraft which are not ready yet. Let's get them with, uh, let's ready for them for torpedo strikes. Torpedo, naval strike, torpedo, good. Ready strike. We have eight fighters left. Um, we'll get these guys ready. Is this after cap is already up? Small engagement. It's, it's interesting to say that this is a small engagement because it is small. It does look like there's not a lot of ships, but it's a carrier battle, apparently. So we're going to kick both these guys up to 20 knots when we can, which is now. Maybe even more than that. I want information as quickly as possible. But I will leave them going in their respective odd directions. Okay, good, they're ready to launch, that's good, but we don't want them to launch yet. I do wanna check, okay, so we have no fighters available, so they're probably all set on cap, that's fine. That's fine. Um, we'll move north by northeast when we do, do a strike. I think I'll move off to the east a little bit with my carrier, Fjurkton, when she's, you know, has control of herself. Okay, let's see if we find anything. The waiting game. And actually, it looks like, okay, we got something. That's all we really needed to get. So it's interesting that these both were kind of going the right way, but the, the between them was the really point of interest. Okay, so we will just head right there. I'm gonna hold my naval strike, I normally don't, but in this case, I am gonna hold my naval strike because I don't think that this is, I mean, this probably is the thing we wanna strike, but I'm comfortable waiting to see it first. Oh, it looks like the cap is actually over the heavy cruiser, which is actually, that's fantastic. And I forgot though that the Indica is coal. It doesn't actually have that high of a top speed. I forgot we're not dealing with two Nikes here. Okay, it looks like we have a fresh scouting report. No, it's not fresh. It was just another report somehow changed that we we're looking at it. Um, you know, we probably could launch that strike now because we'd be close enough that we would should get a detection, but anyways, let's actually get the destroyers to run ahead. And I'd actually prefer if you would run ahead. 32, okay, so let's get you guys. Squad max, run this way. Maximum speed ahead. Meanwhile, the heavy cruisers are probably still gonna get to the punch first. And I should let my heavy cruisers, well, my Nike, recover their float planes. We will say no this time if they ask us again to launch. So you guys, let's get you into line ahead and get you to start doing your own thing as well. Okay, they're slowing down for float plane recovery. That's perfect timing. It's the one time I very rarely do get an opportunity in the and during the battle to to do a competent recovery. I mean, not competent, but a 
A recovery that doesn't jeopardize the mission. But this was one of those cases. And if they are here, we should see them pretty quickly. Enemy aircraft, so they have dive bombers. So we know that we're dealing with a, a carrier of some kind. But we also have cap here. Had, had, had cap here, what? Okay, let's get you to request cap. I don't know what happened to the cap. Dive bombing the Mozart. It's still okay with me, actually. The Mozart, I don't know how we'll get her back to port, but she's less important. Let's see where we can find these. We have good overlap right now, maybe too much. Oh man, we're missing them. Where the hell are they? Oh, she must got a hit. Yep, one bomb hit. <laughs> I didn't even notice this, by the way. Anyway, you can go nice and slow back home. Lots of flooding damage, but only a flooding damage report of two. Hopefully you can limp out of here. We're gonna get pelted a lot unless we find them, so kick it up to squad max. I'm thinking that they might have drifted north because if they are carriers, they would have, have to they would have to go north in order to recover. Uh, I mean, to launch and recover aircraft. So we'll send one. Like I mean, we we missed them. This was how long was it? This spotting report, and we could have been quite off from it too. And it's going to be nighttime soon, so this is going to end up being a, uh, a nothing episode, a nothing battle. That's okay. I mean, actually, we do want the victory to happen because... Yeah, why are you, why are you limping? It would be better if we actually found them since it is a, an invasion battle. But that's fine. Just gonna get the Von Habsburgs to kind of limp back over this way. Maybe we'll get lucky. What the hell's going on with all these destroyers? They're probably uh, <laughs> probably all coal firing. Just bleeding them off one at a time. Yeah, <laughs> he's actually sinking. It's hilarious. Okay, look, it just go down to cruise. Well, there was literally only two destroyers in this engagement. I was doomed from the very beginning. There's just no way you could win this. Their destroyers, it does look like, just left. Honestly, I don't know how we missed them. Seventeen. Okay, we were here at 18, they were here at 14, 15, yeah. They were gone before we even got here. They went back home. So apparently there was another one up here. Ah, it's just a merchant. Okay, fair enough. Enough in battle, that's fine. This will be a, where we call our video to a close then. More efficient hull farm, that's fantastic. Okay, light cruisers can now have superimposed X guns. Wow. Whew, okay. That's an earlier retirement for the Hummel. <laughs> she was going to be scrapped after the war anyway, but... What the hell is going on? That was a rash of bad luck there. We lost uh, a couple of Corvettes, a destroyer, and then, of course, the battleship. 
But that's okay. We'll, we'll keep on fighting here. We have an invasion under, underway. We hope that we can conquer Rhodes before uh, before the battle, the war ends. Has this uh, interesting, I don't know how I would do it. It's kind of an interesting, how does it, how would it work? If you have an invasion underway when the war ends, who would keep the territory? Probably the winner, right? But in this case, it doesn't really work that way. It means you have to get points. Sometimes, I mean, a lot of these end up in a white piece anyway. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, if people, a home nation that victorious did not claim an island that they had suffered over, well, if they were attempting to to take it, I mean, I guess it's all abstracted into the war goals, which we don't really know. We just know that there's war declared. Well, anyways, we'll wrap this one up. So I'll catch you back for the next episode. Oh, we're being blockaded now. Even better. Oh, boy. Okay, until the next one. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.